Our next guest was the winner of Bravo's super popular show, Top Chef All Stars. Richard Blaze is an all pro chef. He's also an author and TV personality. And today, he is joining us to share recipes and insider tips to show you how easy it is to make good food even healthier and how to incorporate more fiber. Good morning. Hey, how are you? So, you know, I'm a chef that is committed to health and wellness, and as you mentioned today, we're talking about fiber. So, a lot of people know the benefits of fiber for a healthy digestive system, but not a lot of people know that most of us aren't getting enough fiber. We're getting less than half the amount of recommended fiber daily. So, I've teamed up with the makers of Benefiber to show people how they can cook with natural ingredients um, that are high in fiber, but also how they can use Benefiber as an ingredient um, in some easy to make delicious recipes. So the recipe I'm talking about today is steel cut oatmeal, and I apologize for the air quotes, but I'm a total <laughs> nerd. Um, you know that already. Um, and I'm gonna, st I'm gonna start the recipe uh, with some steel cut oats. So the steel cut oats here, um, they remind me of rice, and we're sort of letting nature uh, you know, carve the path to creativity here. And I'm gonna marinate the steel cut oats um, in a mixture of almond milk, coconut milk, and the Benefiber right here. So this is two teaspoons of Benefiber. That's gonna get us well on the way to getting our recommended daily dosage. And then what I love about Benefiber from the modern chef's perspective is how easy it is to use. The fact that it's dissolvable effortlessly and completely in hot or cold liquids and soft foods. Right here, again, it's in the almond and the coconut milk. I'm just whisking the Benefiber into that. And then I'm gonna marinate overnight this uh, steel cut oats in this mixture. And what I get the next day, and this is so easy, listen, there's no cooking involved at all in this recipe. That's how easy it is. Um, the next day, um, I get this risotto-like texture with the steel cut oats. Um, also, the Benefiber, listen, it's not adding any taste or texture, which is what I love. We're not trying to mask a healthy ingredient. Um, there's, no, there's no taste, there's no, there's no added texture. We just have that luxurious risotto-like texture. So I'm gonna garnish that dish now, and here's a, a finished bowl of it. Um, this would be, by the way, a great breakfast. It's an, um, it would be a substantial snack. If you wanted to change this up a little bit and add Parmesan and chicken stock, it would be a great entree. So a very versatile, easy to make recipe. And I'm just gonna garnish it with some of my favorite ingredients of the moment. Uh, some raw cocoa right there, some goji berries, some hemp seeds, uh, which are gonna provide uh, lots of protein, some chopped walnuts, for some texture, flavor, and nutrition. Some pomegranate seeds, which my two little girls, they call these princess jewels, uh, which whatever <laughs> works. Um, if that's what's gonna get people to eat healthy, uh, that's great. And some raisins for natural sweetness. Let's see, I love bananas, we'll add some bananas. The key here is that you can add whatever you want as a garnish to this, or you don't have to add any garnish. Uh, and I'll finish it with a little drizzle of some agave nectar, a healthy sweetener. So there we go, that's one recipe that we're doing. Um, again, this is an amazing, so easy to prepare, um, fiber-filled breakfast dish. But if you wanted to find recipes that go into lunch and dinner, uh, you can go to the Facebook page for Ben and Fiber, and there you're gonna find recipes again for salad dressings and sauces. We're using it to make bread. We're putting it in pancakes. Of course, we're mixing it into all sorts of beverages. So an amazing ingredient, really versatile, um, but most importantly, it's helping us get the fiber that we need in our diet. I love what you said about that. The, the recipe is called Raw Oatmeal Risotto Recipe. And I love how you said with five more minutes to snooze, four meals to prepare, only three eggs left, two kids to wake up, and one me, breakfast can be a challenge. But really, any meal of the day can be a challenge. And I love the way you've tried to incorporate fiber in so many great meals. Yeah, and you know, you're right. I mean, people are, you know, they see me cooking on television shows and they're doing this at home. You only have 10 minutes. Like you said, you got a thousand things going on. Um, if you just think ahead a little bit like this, you make it the night before, easy to make, um, but that's a challenge. And you know, it's something that I'm up for and this is a great way to get that nutrition in your diet. And great garnishes for that oatmeal too. And you can find the recipe on our website as, the one, as well as the one that you mentioned. So thank you.